Unless you have the budget for a personal chef or ordering in all the time, you're probably spending quite a bit of time cooking and cleaning in your kitchen. Often a lot more time cooking and cleaning than actually enjoying your meals. But I'm about to change that for you by sharing my top tips for saving you time in the kitchen. I'm Sabrina and I'm the creator of L'Atelier Coworking and the Focus Journal. I am always looking for the best ways to optimize and organize my business and personal life, which is why I have created Tidy Living. If you want to get inspiring content and tips, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified on upcoming videos. My first tip is to choose the right kind of meals to cook. To save on prep time, I choose meals that have around five ingredients or less. To save on cleaning time, I choose meals that require a minimal amount of cooking equipment, like one pan meals. And to save on overall cooking time in the long run, I choose meals that keep really well in the freezer and that I can cook in big batches. Tip number two is to plan meals strategically. I keep a tidy binder of my top go-to recipes as well as a list of all the recipes I know how to make and I decide ahead of time what meals I'm going to be cooking during the week. I then do a quick check of what I have in my pantry and freezer and make my shopping list by organizing the ingredients according to where they are located in the store so I also save time while shopping. Tip number three is to refine your chopping skills or get a food processor. You can significantly cut down on time if you can learn to chop ingredients twice as fast. You can look up YouTube videos on the best ways to chop certain ingredients to perfect your technique. I recently invested in a food processor and to make it worth using and cleaning it, I often chop more than what I need for one recipe and freeze the rest. This works particularly well for onions as it is in almost every recipe I make and they keep really well in the freezer if you use them for cooking. Which brings me to tip number four. Cook in bulk and freeze the rest. I am only cooking two to three new meals every week, yet we eat at least six or seven different meals every week and this is because each time I cook, I make enough for at least three meals for the whole family and freeze the extras to consume in the future. My fifth and final tip is to use the downtimes to move on to the next step in your recipe or to clean. Instead of waiting for the pan to heat up, for example, move on to the next step of your recipe or wash the utensils and equipment you no longer need. Also, instead of using a different knife, spoon or chopping board for different ingredients, you can quickly rinse the tools in between steps and reuse them, so you would have a lot less dishes to wash in the end. What is your favorite time-saving tip? Let me know below and don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. I will see you in the next one.